Okay, this is the, uh, the ductless mini split we're gonna be installing the mini LED into. All you do is once you take two screws out, you just flip it up. And lock it in place so you can actually have access to the blower. And no matter what the brand is, you wanna always have access to the shroud and the blower wheel because the strip is gonna go directly into this area. Okay, when you're installing the driver, you actually want to first off find the best location for it. In this particular model, you want to make sure um, that your leads are going directly to your control board, that you actually have enough wire to go directly to where you're going to be making your connection, and also that you're going to have enough wire to connect to the strip. In this case, uh, we're actually going to make a hole penetration here on the left-hand side, just a small enough hole using a unibit to be able to feed this connector through so we can make the connection to the strip. And we're gonna mount the, uh, the driver dead center so we have enough wire on this side and we have enough wire to the lamp strip. So all we do is we take the adhesive, um, double backing adhesive that's actually included in the kit. You're gonna put this to the back of the power supply. Now there's screws included in the kit where you can actually screw this directly to a surface or even some brands you can just tuck it in place and slide it in and it'll stay there nice and firm. This one actually has a bigger opening so what we're doing is we're just sticking the three in the double adhesive tape directly to the driver pulling that off now making sure that we have the line voltage on this side and on the left side that we have the lamp connector. And then we have the lamp connector that's going to go penetrate directly through this corner right here. A unibit is the best choice because you have more control of making a more precise hole. So that's what we're going to use. You always want to make sure that you're not penetrating through something on the other side. So we're big enough. We're actually going to have the strip wire go directly through here and have the connection on the outside. You want to clean this area with mild soap and water and even clean the blower wheel. You're better off start clean, stay clean. You know, so you have a clean surface area. And what we're doing is we're radiating the blower wheel, which is actually gonna be purifying the air at the same time because whatever's on this wheel or in this area is gonna be getting into the occupied space. So we're using the included alcohol wipe that's in the kit. Uh, this actually has a 3M adhesive sticking it to the surface you do not have to worry about it coming off during use because it actually adheres to it very well uh, this comes in a 40 inch length obviously we're going to have to trim it at some point as you can actually see where there's a pair of scissors to trim it from okay now we're going to cut it at the desired length we're going to trim this right there okay we're just going to peel the the backing off so we're Get to the adhesive. You don't want to peel it all off. You want to get to a starting point. Feed that through. So what we're doing is we're just going to adhere that. And we'll peel this all the way off. And then we're going to feed this connector through the hole that we made. But it's very easy to seal that hole up if you would like to. Okay, now we're going to be installing the on-off switch. It's going to tie in line with the LED strip. We're just going to drill a hole with the unit bit, push this in place, blends in really nicely with the unit. Push the connector in place, tie this up from um, male to female on the driver's side, and then male to female on the strip side. Just lock that in place till you hear a click. Now we're just gonna push all this in. You can also zip tie it out of the way if you choose to. Now what we're gonna be doing is connecting this to L1 and L2. Uh, in this case, you do wanna make sure the power is off when you make these connections by turning it off at the breaker or obviously at the condensing unit. So we'll go ahead and turn that on, and there it is. And uh, this is actually, this spectrum of light does not harm your eyes, so you can look directly at it. So we'll actually demonstrate the lights being off. 
and then you can shut that off by going up to the side and turning it back on. So you take your 40 inch strip and each kit comes with a little coupler. And when you want to extend it beyond 40 inches, you have to buy the separate LED strip. This is the part number for it. And it comes with an additional 40 inch strip. So what we'll do is we'll take the two separate strips, which I'll demonstrate here. And you have the coupler. Say you want 50 inches, then you cut the other strip to 10 inches. And you have to make sure you cut it at the exposed <clears throat> contact point right there where the scissors are. So once you've already trimmed that to your desired length, you take the little coupler. Okay, at this point, we're gonna open the coupler. Uh, you just take your fingernail and you just pop each door open. And then you're exposing each end. So you take, you have to take this coating that's off the contact point. If you can just take an, a, a knife, pair of scissors or something and just scrape it to where it's bare metal on top, it really doesn't take much to do so. And then you have to peel back the adhesive to show um, directly on the metal. So you just peel that back a little bit, just like that. And you're actually sliding this directly into the groove till it hits the contact point. And once you do so, you make your contact point for any other questions, feel free to uh, contact Fresh Air UV or your local contractor.